Here we have managed databases with DigitalOcean. These are very helpful to store information, but what's cool about these is they're so easy to spin up and attach to current resources. If you click create database here in the top right, you can see the UI to create a brand new database. We can start with our data center region and it also tells you which resources live in which region. So I have one droplet and four databases in New York and I have one database in San Francisco. You usually want your database to live as close as possible to your servers so that the connection between the two is pretty quick. I'll keep this database in New York and then we can choose our VPC network so that all of our resources that are in the same VPC can connect to each other so that all of our resources in a VPC can securely connect to each other over their private IP addresses. If we scroll down, I have the choice to choose a database engine, and this is where it gets really cool. We have the options of MongoDB, Postgres, MySQL, Redis, or Kafka. I'm gonna go with Postgres for this one, and we can even choose the version number. Now we choose our plan. We can stick to the $15 a month starter plan, or we can go up to the pro plans for depending on the workload of your applications. We can create a name for this database and add tags. And finally, we can create the database cluster down here. And I wanna scroll up a little bit just to look at our features. We have point in time recovery, automated failover and fail back, logging and metrics dashboard, zero downtime scaling and forking, and automated maintenance. And you get all of that for Postgres with that $15 a month. And if you choose Mongo, I wanna show you something real quick that you can also add two standby nodes for zero downtime recovery so that in case your primary node fails, you can switch over to your other nodes. And that's creating databases with DigitalOcean.